badly needed a win and set about Brighton as though they meant business. Mark Steen was first man through. The frustrating thing about Oxford is how well they can play when they've a mind to. Jim Magilton showed a touch of class here as he slipped through. The shot could have been firmer. Here's Magilton in action again. Watch the first time ball. United unlucky not to get a goal. For all United's effort, Brighton could have taken the lead. This was a lucky escape. A small shot wide. Oxford took the lead a minute before half-time. Steen supplying a super ball for Paul Simpson. And what a cracking finish. Brighton weren't beaten yet, though. Here's another let-off for the United goal. In the second half, Oxford were queuing up for more goals. First, it was Les Phillips. Then, Martin Foyle. And finally, Andy Melville, who were all stopped by the Brighton back wall. After 54 minutes, it was 2-0. Beecham setting Simpson up. He bewildered Brighton with the run and beat Digweed with a firm left footer. Six minutes later, it was all over as Simpson got his hat-trick. Another great ball by Steen, and once again, the left foot was smack on. Oxford United and Paul Simpson 3, Brighton 0. It's good to hear the...